it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing fantastic today. I have my hashtag November Play 2021 finished, and we are going to do the final flip through today. This has been so much fun. Um, I, I circled kind of some of the things, well, I circled everything I used. But some of them that I did not have that I finished up were home and vintage. Of course, I did sewing throughout. I did neutrals. Um, of course, my star was already there. And service we did. And baking and cooking. But um, um, I think I used the word traditions. So anyway, those were the words that I did use. And... Uh, Let's get into this. Now, I did just tie it with some twine. That's just what I did. And I had tried some other things, but twine is what I like the best. Of course, this is our vintage uh, Reader's Digest book. Now, in this book, you can see it is all cracked through here. And in the back, you can see all the cracks. But it will not part from the, from the book because I do have the fabric glued. So it's not going to go anywhere. The cover is not going to come apart. Now this, I could not decide whether that needed to be uh, attached to the cover or not. So I left it just loose. And I, uh, I am going to put this in the Etsy shop. So... Uh, for the recipient, they can either go ahead and glue this on if that's what they like, or they can leave this cover as is, and they can take this here and put it somewhere, um, you know, in the journal. That's just what I kind of thought was fun. You could just place it somewhere in the journal, and uh, or if you like it on the cover, which I really thought it was cute on the cover. But, man, I just hated to mess up this cover as well. So, anyway, so there is that. And I will just leave it on the cover loose for whoever, and you can do with it as you please. So, of course, we had our, uh, our um, library pocket here. And here is just a library card. And then here were the presents or the gifts. Uh, was one of my prompts there. Here is some um, textured paste with some poinsettia. And this is just some vintage ephemera. I actually got this um, from one of the ladies in the Sophie's Notes. Where we had actually had, um, uh, it went in uh, one of our swaps. And she had included that, so I used that. And then here I have just a little kind of a flip of a vintage piece of, um, this is, um, railroad ephemera, and this is just from an old, um, uh, telephone, um, book that kind of give you instructions, uh, how the system worked. Here was my circles and my snowman, which I love. Here are the ornaments. And then here is our uh, little booklet, which I have your textured paste. I love Tim Holtz little, uh, little box tops. And I've just used some various papers here. So there is the little booklet that will slide in the paper bag, or the glassine bag. Added a little piece of vintage trim there. I added this. I just put Christmas. This was not a um, a prompt, but I just filled it up. Here is Memories, December 25th. These are the new Tim Holtz rub-ons that I purchased. And I've got Believe and I've got Magical. They're at the bottom, and I have just left it all as a journaling spot. I did not fill it. And anyway, it just slips in this, um, I'm not sure what this is. This is some kind of envelope. Now, I purchased some of these a long time ago. I've had these probably for several years. And I just ran across them the other day, and I pulled them out to use them in, a, in this journal and the one I'm working on. So, 
I've got Home for the Holidays. And then this was um, the little the little booklet that just kind of hangs on the side there. And it's got some of the little Tim Holtz snippets in it. And it just attaches here on the side of the the side of the page. Little gingham um, checkered ribbon there. And then here is a poinsettia, and I believe I've added this after the fact. Uh, these are some of the red poinsettias that Sharon has made. Uh, I have red, and I believe I have pink, maybe white in the shop, but I did add that poinsettia. <clears throat> and here is the plum pudding, mincemeat, uh, pie there. And this is just a little pocket, and it has some recipes in it. This was from one of the kits that I had. These are not my personal recipes. They are just some that were in the uh, sweet treats kit that I purchased. And so I've just got them kind of together with a, whoops, with a uh, rusted clip there. And it just sets in the, in that pocket. And we will put it back in the, there we go. And there is my tree, and there is my star. That is what I picked to put on the top of the tree. So I've got joy, peace, wonder, Merry Christmas wishes. That's really cute. And then here were my numbers, and there's the Yuletide. Here was my service. That was my word prompt for that. That was a lot of fun. I love those vintage cards. Uh, second signature. I've got my snowman here. This was just a cute uh, piece that I had already uh, in my stash that had the bird on it. That's a Tim Holtz stamp, and I just put it in there. There's some, uh, um, like, your milk tops. Here is another poinsettia. And I just added it to this little girl here. This was something I just added. It really wasn't a word prompt. Uh, there's an ornament. Here was our little textured snowflakes with the paper doll. Just a little collage. Um, here's a little ho, ho, ho. A little vintage. And then I've added just uh, some little pieces here in this one little journaling paper. And these are just some little tags. I've took the Tim Holtz uh, rub-ons and I've just rubbed them on just kind of wherever, kind of randomly there uh, off of there, off the uh, sheet there. <clears throat> Liked how those came out. This is my neutral. Uh, that was one of the words was the neutral. So there is the neutral. These little kids are just looking in the fireplace. There's their little stockings. And then here I've got the glistening. I think I redid this a little different that I was trying to decide on how I was going to do it uh, when I was doing the, uh, the uh, prompt with you that day. Uh, there is just a little slide there. I like to use those slides. And then here I'm just going to, instead of untying it, I'm just going to slip it off. And then here was my lights, and we just did this little little booklet here. A couple of tags from the kit that I had. A lot of stitching in this. A lot, a lot of stitching. And then here is my vintage. I used um, the green stamps. And, of course, that's what I used on the one I had in the cover. So that's what I used for vintage was the green stamps. And then here is just a fun little little uh, uh, a photo. And then I added this to the page to kind of just give it a little, oops, uh-oh. 
I'll have to get that off of there. It kind of stuck because that overran the page. Mm, let's see if I can get that undone without making a mess. Okay, there we go. So I just put that there so that it had that little extra... And then what I'll do for my little, oops, let's get this tied a little better. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll put a piece of the aged tape there where that has kind of, let's just grab a piece here and we'll just do that right now. We'll just add a little piece of vintage tape. Vintage look tape. And we'll just put that right there to make sure that doesn't rip anymore. Yeah. Okay. And then here is another little uh, family. Looks, you know, I just love these old photos. Added a few vintage buttons there. This ended up being pretty chunky when I got done with it. There's that little boy with his ornaments. I just love the look on his face. And then I added this to the back. This is home. For me, this was the home that I chose uh, to use for the word. I got Christmas Eve with the number 24. And I've got hot chocolate with some little trees there. This has a little bit of green on it. Christmas tradition. And you open it up, and this is just a smaller version of one of the uh, images I used earlier. So, Okay, so there is the uh, flip through of our hashtag November play. That was, this was just a really, really fun, uh, fun, fun uh, journal to make. Had tons of fun, um, and I want to be sure and thank Rhonda, Rhonda Winstead, for the idea. Uh, it was just fun. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope that it, you have a great day, and thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.